face St Mirren knowing they were unbeaten in the last four trips to Paisley and hoping to make that five in what would most probably be their last match at Love Street. Saints, well, they had lost their last four matches while United's season had stuttered just a little recently with just that point at home to Billy's Hamilton from their last two outings. On loan, Scott Cuthbert back for Saints after being forced to miss the Celtic game last weekend. Saints going with Dargo and Wyness in the search for elusive goals this season, although Mehmet and Hamilton would appear later as well. United brought back Kovacevic at right back, Gary Kenneth into central defence and Danny Swanson also came in just behind the front pairing of Daly and Sandaza. United looking for what would be just a second away league win this season. The commentary from Bill Leckie. Paul Dixon. And does again, there's a chance, great save. John Daly had so much time at the far post. Mark Howell to the rescue. As they come down to the final 10 minutes of the half, Brady to Dorman. Caught in possession again though. And here come United. Flood finds Danny Swanson. Sandaza goes outside. Swanson goes on his right foot. Rebounds off Cuthbert. Flood to John Daly. Flood again. Up for Daly, there's the header, there's the goal. And St Mirren, from having possession in midfield, give the ball away cheaply, and they pay the price. It was Dorman who lost the ball. United broke, it found its way finally to flood. He hung the cross up for Daly. No chance for Howard. It goes towards Cuthbert, well won by Lee Wilkie, as far as Miranda. Miranda passed two into the box. Now Dargo is outside. There's a chance and minus. It was lovely play. Dargo fed him in. And he cannot believe that he scooped it so high over the bar. <laughs> Kenneth ball forward. The path of Conway was a good effort from Daly. Pushed away by the keeper. The long ball, the knockdown by Conway. First time drive by Daly. Howard very sharply down to his right to parry. Miranda, good ball. The Dargo. Rob's on the outside. They keep flooding forward. They just can't find the killer touch. Beyond Gomez by Rob. Into the box. Hamilton leaps. Robs to Billy Mech with the header. Down now to McGinn. Oh, and his hit it would work. Billy Mech McCushion the header down. McGinn controlled the shot on the right foot. Beat Zaluska off the bar. Towards Hamilton again. Well watched by Dixon. Down to Conway. Now Hamilton wins the ball back. Goes past Dixon to the byline. Thumps it across. Mechmet. Off the shin. Over the bar. Story of St Mirren's day. Hamilton past Dixon. Back to Mechmet. Looking for his ninth of the season. Put it over the top. On for Flood, well watched by Cuthbert. The back to Daly. Scott Robertson trying to support him. Off to Flood. Now Conway on the left. Against Ross. Goes round him. Goes down. Penalty kick. Ross knows he was suckered into the challenge. And the penalty kick gives United the chance to finish it off. Daly against Howard. Tucked away. John Daly's second goal of the afternoon. And the St Mirren fans stream away. The fourth final league game at Love Street is going to end in more disappointment. I think uh, some of the play and the build-up play is pleasing. But you can talk about it all day long. Uh, It comes down to putting it in the back of the net. These guys are proven goal scorers in the SPL. Proven. They've got a track record of putting the ball in the back of the net. We've just got to encourage them to keep putting themselves up to the plate. And we've got the players that will create the chances. And when they come along, we've just got to hope they take them. You know, Gus threw everything at us in the last uh, last half hour. Um, and they missed a couple of chances, to be fair. Uh, and then we nick the, you know, against the run of play, probably. Um, you know, but we're set up to counter-attack at that point And, you know, we get a penalty and tie it up. 
Dundee United back on track with three points in their quest to finish third this season and the opening goal, Jim, coming from John Daly. Yeah, I think it's vital if you score the opening goal against uh, St Mirren because St Mirren have struggled to score goals. It's a, mm. a lovely cross. The, I mean, Bill Lickens said to give the ball away in midfield and then, you know, lays it off and it's a lovely little dink cross into the middle of the box and just ideal for John Daly to head into the net. And if you go one nothing up with a team who just can't seem to buy a goal at this moment in time, then... You know, it gives you great confidence to hang on to it. And as much as, uh, you know, St Mirren can throw in at them and miss a, a hat full of chances, mm. they just can't hit the back of that net. And then it's just a, it's a poor tackle from Jack Ross here. He's really got to move his feet and just run him towards the line. He knows just, it, doesn't he? he yeah. knows it. And you're still in the game at one nothing. You know, you might just get something at the last minute. Dundee United got it last week against Billy's mm. team in the last minute. But once you give that penalty away, and again, well dispatched by John Daly, game over. Yeah, it was 2-0 to Dundee United, but uh, Gus McPherson defending his strikers there, saying that they're all proven goal scorers in the SPL. We're talking about Dargo, we're talking about Wyness, Mehmet, Hamilton, but St Mirren have only scored three goals at Love Street this season, Jim. Ten in all, and only Dundee United City rivals Dundee, uh, slightly worse than that on 11. Yeah, I think they'll be looking forward to going to the new ground in the new year, but uh, you know, that's a, I mean, it's a horrendous miss by Dennis Wyness, who mm. again, I think he scored for over a year. Uh, you know, again, Stephen Robb getting to the byline, puts a lovely cross in. I mean, they had plenty of crosses in, and there were really good opportunities to Jim. You know, there weren't half chances. Mm. I mean, this is very unlucky. I mean, he gets a great shot. I think the keeper makes a good save there. Yeah. I think Billy said that. He thought the keeper made a good save, um, Zaluska, and it's a good uh, presence of mind header from Billy Mehmet, a good strike, and you can be a bit unfortunate. And in the one or two occasions they are unfortunate, but there's some glorious chances. Another one, Jim Hamilton, well, pulls it back for Billy Mehmet. Way earlier on in the season, it would have buried that, but you know, so just time after time, chances going to begging. Yeah, I don't expect um, Hamilton manager Billy Reid to uh, show much sympathy for St Mirren, but it's a confidence thing, isn't it, with strikers? It's so frustrating as a manager when your team are making chances, and, and very good chances at that. You know, I watch the programme week in, week out, and they're missing two or three glaring chances all the time. Uh, mm. As Gus says, they're good players, but at the moment, for St Mirren, uh, the ball doesn't seem to get in the back of it. OK, guys, thank you very much indeed. Let's take a check on take now with what could be a very significant seven points advantage over Rangers at the top. And Hearts have moved to within seven points of Rangers in third position with Dundee United three behind in fourth. Aberdeen and Hibs make up the top six. And as we said earlier, it's now St Mirren who prop up the table with the bottom six covered by just seven points. The same gap as there is between the top two.